call it uh, much ado about local chickens. The New York Times got a whiff earlier this year, and this past week, a French film crew came into the town on Kauai to take a closer look at the chickens there. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz tells us what the national and international buzz is all about. The thing about Kauai and chickens is that, well, they're part of the landscape. Dolphins and whales this way, chickens that way. Kauai's chickens capture the eye of evolutionary biologist Eben Gehring, who's from Michigan State. His take was initially how we see them, a bit offbeat. We kind of thought about these birds in, in a similar light to the way the, the people of Kauai think of them as just a sort of a, um, an unusual, quirky um, little population on a little island in the middle of the Pacific. But his research is starting to show that Kauai's chicken population will shed some light on the evolution of the red jungle fowl rooster and its genetic history. He's been collecting chicken DNA from across the island and using an infrared camera to study the bird's body heat. You can see, um, you know, with, with great precision, what temperature. You can tell the bird's body temperature by the heat coming off the legs. And off the rooster's comb. We think that it's being uh, driven to a larger size by female preference, so females like to mate with males that have big, bright combs. It's all part of the big picture, tracking the story of resilient roosters in the domestication process. The more genetic diversity a population has, um, the better that it can cope with um, changes in the environment, like, like disease onset or um, temperature stress. Next time you see a feral chicken, check out whether its legs are gray or yellow. And why is it you don't see many white feathered chickens on Kauai's West End? <coughs> and then it's all about the crow, distinctively abrupt or like a southern drawl. The last syllable of a red jungle fowl crow, it's <coughs> and a, a chicken, you know, it has that classic cockadoodle doo, long, long last syllable. What we, what we, so that's a nice classic domestic crow with the really long um, last syllable. Got that? <coughs> Find distinctions of fowl, maybe more than you knew about local chickens, or for the Kauai residents who either hate them. Scrawny and look like they got chicken aids or something, and they can come home and all my flowers and seedlings and everything's just torn up. Or love them. I love them. Born and raised with them right in town here. Local chickens getting worldwide exposure. Go figure. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News.